She's very, you know, achievement centric. And case in point, did you see how happy she got when she guessed the destination of the trip? Like she did a Holy Ghost dance and everything. Like she's so competitive and ambitious. Hey, what's up, it's Cecily. And this is the Housewives of Potomac after show. Today, I'm not gonna do the play by play. I'm only gonna bring up the stuff that I found interesting for me to discuss. Here we go. Giselle, Robin and Karen meet for tea. Giselle planned the tea, obviously, to get the tea from Karen. <laughs> Things I liked about this segment. Giselle has this Freudian slip where she refers to Robin's hat business as embellished. The tables turn on Robin when Karen is presented with an opportunity to treat Robin the same way as she did back in the day. So Karen's the classy one in the crew. I got you. I'm not celebrating this and that's how I roll. She still says, after several digs at Wendy, that they're gonna be fine. And it's about us being respectful. So she owned that. And that's what grown ass women do. I am very tired of the degree conversation. I do understand that there's a certain type of African American that is very big on pedigree and education and career achievements and accolades. And I don't come from that kind of family and I don't have that kind of social circle or network. So I would personally find that very annoying. I don't care about the stuff that you have. I wanna to get to know you. Um, I think that for Wendy to fit in she's gonna have to come off this tip and let people get to know her personally no one else is doing this like read the room this doesn't work here Ashley's battling postpartum depression and some identity issues I've dealt with that with my last child I'm sure the moms out there can relate the part that touched me the most was when she said you know when he met me I was bubbly I was carefree and that's who I was and then I've changed and that she used to really enjoy life. Now hearing that for me was bittersweet. As moms, we go through a total metamorphosis, physically, mentally, emotionally. And when you become a mom, I feel like you're very aware that there is this former version of yourself. And the hard part when you're a new mom is knowing who you are now who you are becoming and um after a while it does all come together and you can borrow parts from your new version of yourself and the old version of yourself but she's at the beginning of that i'm really happy that she's getting therapy and i encourage anyone that's dealing with any type of depression wherever you are in your life to talk to a professional it could really help i was with monique up until this episode the fact that it had to go from an incident to now go a legal direction all legal cases are incidents before they become cases. Um, and I feel like what she did, honestly, if it were to happen to me, I would get the police involved too. Like, I don't know why she thought that that would not be the next thing that would happen. The great thing about it, I bet she won't put her hands on anyone again. All right, the visit to Auntie G's house looks fun. I love her garage. Yes. Oh, okay. They're putting my garage together. I don't know why Ashley would bring up inviting Monique to anything at this point. It's not enough time for everybody to heal or be comfortable around Monique again. Uh, it just really doesn't make sense. That was really silly. Um, the ladies assemble at Robin's house for a photo shoot. This is something that I would totally do and have done in the past. <laughs> Y'all gonna work if you're gonna be my friends. Uh, the battle between Wendy and Karen is so silly. I feel like Wendy felt some kind of way prior to this because they're in this some organization together and Wendy felt like Karen's always ignoring her and that she's not really impressed with her. And I think Wendy really needs people to be impressed by these degrees and the jobs and the husband. I mean, she's very, you know, achievement centric. Case in point, did you see how happy she got when she guessed the destination of the trip? Like she did a Holy Ghost dance and everything. Like she's so competitive and ambitious. I think that competitiveness combined with being really emotional really puts her at a disadvantage because she's gonna fight anybody that doesn't accept her. And um, Karen's the perfect person for it because Karen don't care. <laughs> Honestly, I can't believe that she took the bait when they brought up the thing about education. She does brag, she says it all the time. I do think it's nasty for someone to have been so privileged to look down on a person that does not have education. I think that Wendy is very intelligent. I think that, but I do not believe that degrees make the man or woman. I do hate that these two did have this argument and this is in my 
I don't want to hear black women talk like this to each other kind of conversation. Um, I don't think that people should shame each other for the education they have and don't have. I don't lead with, I have my degree and my education this and education that when I meet people. I think that's something that you can find out about me later on in life. I think Giselle twisting my words is an indicator that something's not right in her personal relationship with Jamal. Anytime she starts twisting my words, it tells me her is not tight. Now, this is a reality show. It's about personalities and what you bring to the table. If this was like Celebrity Apprentice or something like that, where your business acumen or your degrees come into play, then yeah, maybe let me know what you got going on. But right now it's unnecessary. And um, I'm happy that all of that ended with them talking about the way she was slithering and not sauntering in and out of rooms because it was foolish and it just needed to end in some kind of comic relief. So other than that, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about on this episode. Did you guys find anything interesting? I left out certain parts because they just didn't really hit for me. They were kind of boring. <laughs>